Hi, I'm Chris, and in the last demonstration, I showed you how we could use Veristan to configure our real-time hardware. In this demo, I'm going to show you how we can import models to our NI Veristan application. So another way to think of models is really as functions, and they're commonly added to NI Veristan to add functionality like uh, closed-loop control, uh, signal processing, or signal generation, or in the case of uh, HIL testing applications, they'll be used to add those system simulations. All right, so for example, I've got this LabVIEW model here. And what it does is it generates a sine wave based on these parameter settings. And then it adds that sine wave to the input, ultimately producing on the output. So if I run this real quick in LabVIEW, we'll see that it's just adding that input in a way it's adding a little bit, acting a little bit like a, a DC offset. All right, so I'm going to add that now to my uh, NI Veristan application. To do that, I'll just uh, click on Add Simulation Model. And I'll navigate to the compiled version of that model that I generated from LabVIEW. All right, so when I click OK, you're going to see that it's going to add that model as a resource or a task within my NI Veristan tree. And we see the inputs and the outputs. And specific to parameters, I just need to tell NI Veristan which ones that I want it to input and make editable at uh, runtime. OK, so now that I've added my models, I've got real-time I.O. and models or functions in my NI Veristan application. The next thing I'm going to want to do is use the mappings dialog to uh, create relationships or connections between these different resources. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and specify that I'm going to take the, the input from AI0 that's connected to that signal generator and map it to the input to that model, that sine wave model that I just imported. So I'll do that by selecting each channel and clicking connect and then we can see the, uh, the mapping that's made, been made here. All right, so I've shown you how we can add real-time hardware I.O. and models and even make connections or, or relationships between those different tasks. In the next demonstration, I'm going to show you how we can create alarms and calculated channels, as well as other real-time tasks for our NI Veristan application.